Hi. Um, now, uh, here with Robin Atkins uh, for another interview. Um, I've known Robin for a long time, so thank you, Robin, for letting me um, interview you. That's okay. And, um, and Robin's a very experienced property investor, and she's helped a lot of people um, build a, a uh, property portfolio. So um, uh, I know your story, Robin, but please uh, uh, tell, tell me again, refresh my memory, but uh, for everyone else as well, what's your yeah, story with sure. investing? I had an interest in investing because I knew that, um, well, I guess what started it, I was made redundant in 1999, and I thought, okay, working for somebody else is not going to necessarily make me rich, I have to do it. So I found Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yep. Went on and read that, and it really I think sparked most of my us interest. Have read that yeah. book, <laughs> and there was another one at the time, um, a lady with a child. I can't remember her name. Anyway, I thought, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Yep. So it was just a matter of learning how. Um, <clears throat> we bought our first property in '99, and just every opportunity we could borrow more money, we bought more property. So we built a sizable portfolio all around Australia. I don't want to get hit with land tax anywhere, and a yep. lot of people don't even know that there's a land tax issue. Yes. Worse here in New South Wales, obviously, yes, than yes. anywhere else. Um, so if you're going to invest, diversify. You know, people do live over the borders. Yeah. And do you just uh, just invest in house and land, or yeah. have you got a mix? Or? Uh, uh, we have a mix. Um, we've got one unit, house and land, and mainly townhouses. Okay. I love townhouses. I know there's a strata fee, and a lot of people don't want to pay strata, but we don't have pools and tennis courts and all that. Yep. So strata's not too bad. So it's and more about keeping the keeping to the smaller complexes. Yeah, and I find that tenants stay longer in a in a townhouse than they do anywhere else. So long term tenancies. We've had one lady in our townhouse fourteen years. Wow. Is that wow. not a good tenant or what? Yeah, yeah, no, no it's great. And is uh, you, you mentioned it's uh, not just in Sydney that you own property, mm -hmm. but in, in other areas. Can you tell us which which areas? Sure. We went to WA in um, 2002, and they said this is the time to get into WA. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that's such a long way away from home, being Sydney. And uh, we did go in there, and they doubled in 18 months. So we were certainly wow. the right yeah. place at the right time. Yeah. Well, that was good timing. In the it market. was. Yeah. And then Brisbane was going to have a boom, so we came back to Brisbane. And then Gold Coast and back to WA. Yep. Um, so we've got the three states. Okay. And how's uh, Brisbane and Gold Coast performed? Um, Gold Coast, like, I find that they've all doubled in around about the same amount of time. Okay. Um, tenants are great. Rents are going up again now. GFC, yep. obviously, GFC, if you got caught there, everything yep. slowed down. But it's starting to move now. Rents are going up $5 every new tenant. Yep. So that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I uh, was asked by a client last week and I did a bit of a, a video on it, which I'm not sure if it's gone out yet, but uh, it's, um, uh, I was asked by a client, a client the other day about um, uh, is it the right time to buy? Um, and, you know, we're, yeah, have prices sort of flattened and so on. And, and I, I was talking about, and, and my comment to them and, and my comment to everyone was, well, the most important thing in, in buying, and we've certainly experienced this in the last year or two, is, is making sure that you can borrow the money. Yes. Yeah. And, and you yeah, know, with the with the royal commission that we've had and the APRA issues, that's been a big thing. But um, so I was trying to get across the point that it's more about time in the market it rather is, than yeah. timing the market. Because uh, well, yeah, give us your point yeah. of view on that. We don't know where we're buying really in the cycle. Yep. If we know prices are dropping, then that's good because they will go up again. If they're going up and we buy here, that could be the top, that there may be a little bit more growth. So it doesn't really matter. All through your investment time, there will be peaks and troughs, and, and that's just a part of investing. It's, as you say, you've got to get into the market because if you wait, a uh, perfect example, I met a man like 18 years ago who said he was going to wait because we're going to have a 50% crash in New South Wales. And I thought, well, the whole country would be in trouble if that happened. Yes. And he said, when that happens, I'm going to pay cash for everything. Right. Well, okay. 18 years down the track, he still doesn't have his first investment property. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wait. Get in now. Okay. Um, thank you for that. Um, and and you started at some point helping other people um, get into um, investment property. How, yeah. um, and, and how 
how have you gone with that and what's your experience been? Oh, look, I just love it because it worked for us and I knew that we were going to have a better existence in retirement. Mm. And I thought other people need to know about that. So I was really passionate about helping as many people as they could. And then we had, um, we, I gathered as much information as I could and then shared that with other people. Family are not the greatest ones to share things with because they go, no, that's not for us. Yeah. So people outside of your inner circle um, are really happy to listen. Everybody wants to get ahead. They're just frightened to take that first step. Can I afford it? Yeah. You know, what's going to happen? The bank won't lend you the money if you can't afford to pay for it. You know, and you've got the tenant and the ATO. And if your finances are set up correctly, you've got a, you know, a bit of a buffer there. Mm. So you're not going to get into dire straits. And if worse comes to worse, you sell the property. Done. You know? Okay. But if you hang on to that property and you pay for it today, let's say 600,000 in another state, not Sydney, um, 400 to 600,000, yep. in 10 years time, roughly, might be 12 years, 15 years, who knows what the cycle is gonna happen, the next one coming up. It's better, you'll have at least 25% hmm. profit, if not 50%, yeah. you know? And have you had any bad experiences with this? Yes. Uh, now we've got a couple of properties in WA and the market over there is really slow for, right. for new tenants coming in. Right. So when there's a vacancy, sometimes we've waited two months wow. for a tenant. So okay. as much as I love WA um, and everybody has to live somewhere, my choice would be Queensland first, uh, New South Wales if you can afford it, and then um, look at some of the other states, Victoria maybe. Mm. Uh, but WA at the moment, they're at the bottom of the market, just starting to come up. And this is February 2019. So um, have a look in WA. There's more money going in over there. Yep. Mining's starting to boom again over there. Yep. So people will be looking for somewhere to live. Yep. And what about regional areas versus, uh, uh, versus uh, the capital cities? I personally don't go into regional. We did buy a regional property right. and we paid 86,000 for it. It went up to 120 and then it went up to 180 and I should have wow. sold it then because yep. then it came back down to about 127 when we finally sold. Right. And was that during a mining boom area? No, or? it wasn't in a mining area, but I thought I'd made a good decision because it was near the, the shopping centre, yep. near the um, hospital, it was near, uh, there was a Coles on the corner, maybe a 200 metre walk, yep. and I thought this is a, a great property, but it wasn't. You know, yep. like. Regional areas are very slow to go up in value. A uh, lady said to me recently, last year, she wanted to buy a property she found in um, Moree, yep. and really good rental return, and the government guarantees to fix anything that's broken. Right. So straight away I've gone, oh my gosh, what are you buying? What sort of tenants are in that area? Yep. If, if that's a guarantee from the government, I'd be yep. going, no thank you. Yeah, you know? okay. <laughs> Scary. And so we, with the turmoil we've had over the last year or two with the Banking Royal Commission mm. and the market in Sydney especially uh, coming back, um, where do you see the market over the next 12, 18, 24 months going? I don't know. And, and you it's... mentioned um, you know, um, Sydney's always a good place to buy, but um, Brisbane might be your pick at the moment. Yeah, I, I have met people who only want to buy in Sydney. Yep. And while they're waiting for the prices to drop because they can't necessarily borrow a million dollars. So right. you have to have a look in reality and if your borrowing capacity is 400,000 to 700,000, look interstate because you will get a tenant. I think the banks are starting to hurt a little bit yep. because they've lost a lot of lending, mm. I think. Um, let's just hope they get their act together and, and start making it easier for investors because what cheeses me off, Owen, is we're setting up our own future. Mm. We don't need a pension. Yeah, right. You know, so we're going to be self-sufficient, and yet the government is trying to penalise us left, right, and centre, and make it hard for us to buy more property. And, yes. You know, and plus we're putting roofs over people's heads. So yep. it's, if I can just say, tenants need somewhere to live. We've got the money to buy an investment property. Does that make us greedy? I don't think so. We're helping the community supplying jobs for four and a half people per Otherwise complex, uh, they'll you know? end up in the public housing system. That's right, and that's not necessarily... Well, that's where I started, so you can always work your way out of there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, thanks, Robin. That's okay, my um, pleasure. And um, thank you, everyone. Uh, no matter where you're um, uh, watching or listening to this, uh, please give us some feedback. Uh, let us know what you think. If you have any questions or would like to, uh, other subjects or topics talked about in the future, uh, please let us know. Reach out. Happy investing. Thanks, bye.